And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Hi guys, thanks for joining me. Um, one, another video I'd like to make, one I missed out. Uh, I mean, I've made a video about all the events of the last three and a half years, but I haven't actually made any individual. But I think this one deserves um, a video focus, and that's the destruction of Jerusalem, which happens in the last three and a half years. You can find this in Revelation 11, where it talks about uh, measure that the temple of God is seen, uh, but the outer court is given over to the Gentiles, the Romans. Uh, the New World Order, the United Nations, NATO, they all come underneath that um, bracket. And it says, and they shall tread underfoot the holy city for 42 months. Okay, like in Daniel it also says, the people of the prince shall destroy the city and the sanctuary and the end shall be with a flood. Um, this happened, yes, this did happen uh, before. In fact, the Romans were the ones who destroyed the second temple. <laughs> Bab Babylon um, destroyed the first temple, but Babylon the Great Hall, Roman, destroyed the second temple, and the third temple will be built and also destroyed by the Romans, the Babylonians. And scripture says for 42 months, which is three and a half years. This is one of the last three and a half year events to happen. So yes, Jerusalem will be tread underfoot for 42 months, which is quite a long time considering the age that we live in of nuclear weapons and missiles, uh, tanks and everything else. So, I mean, it's going to be a slow destruction, maybe by hand, by, you know, soldiers. Maybe they'll take people prisoners, captive, demand that they worship the Antichrist, or then, and then be put to death. So, you know, it's going to be, but that, that is the Great Tribulation, which is going to be worse than ever has been or ever shall be. But then at the end of the three and a half years reign of the Antichrist, Prince William, that the Jesus will come back at Armageddon, put his feet upon the earth, and will rule the world for 1,000 years. And none of them will be there, and none of the people that follow the Antichrist, or the Romans, or their religion, will be here either. But what's amazing thing to me, I love this stuff. <laughs> what's amazing is that if you go back and, but by the way, this is all spoken of in Daniel 11, but Daniel 11 also covers the destruction of the second temple. I said in one of my previous videos just now is that when the king of the north and the king of the south come, it says that the king of the north um, put up like a tower and he took a most fenced city. Now in that time, uh, they took Jerusalem. I mean, they also took, um, I think it was called Joppa, or some, somewhere along them lines. And that's where they took um, Jophi, Josephus as prisoner. And then they took Jerusalem. But, you know, they took a most fenced city. And like Jesus says in um, his prophecy, he said that no stone would remain upon another. And that's exactly what happened. The Babylonians, the Romans, came and destroyed the city. But here's the great thing about it. Do you know how long it took them to do that? From, you know, start to finish? Three and a half years. <laughs> Three and a half years it took them to destroy the second temple in 90 AD. Uh, sorry, 70 AD. I'm just gonna say something. And that all happens there, 70 AD. And all the Christians flee. And then the fifth king, who was during the time of Revelation, Demetrian.
look to the isles to exterminate them. That's actually when the book of Revelation came down to John, from God to Jesus, to the angel, to John. And that's when um, the book of Revelation was written. So this is not preterism, because we are talking about Revelation, the book that was written 20 years after the event as such. So Revelation 11 is talking about another temple, the third temple. One, two, three, everything come in threes. Three is like confirmation. And a third temple will be built. And you can, there's tons of scripture about what things will happen, the daily sacrifice being taken away. daily oblation, uh, the abomination of desolation in the holy place, standing there. The, uh, the Antichrist walking into the temple of God, sitting there, claiming to be God, or showing himself to be God, sitting in the temple of God. There's loads of scripture about a newly built temple and so and in fact the, the Jews believe that they need a temple for the Messiah to come so the Romans can't give them the false Messiah without actually building a temple do you get me and so yeah it's gonna happen but amazingly enough, but it's not when, when you know God, there is no such thing as coincidences and oh, that's just a coincidence, that's just a, a whatever. No, everything is true. You know, in the days that they had shields and swords and rocks and wood and towers, <laughs> you know, they took three and a half years to destroy Jerusalem. Yet in the age at the end of the age, at the very end, before Jesus comes, in the age of nuclear weapons that could probably wipe, wipe out, well, could wipe out Jerusalem in one hit. You know, tanks that could probably wipe out Jerusalem in maybe a couple of months. Yet the scripture still says that the Gentiles, that they shall tread the holy city underfoot for 42 months, which means they'll um, destroy Jerusalem. And it's gonna take them 42 months to do that. So I just wanted to make this quick video concerning that because I haven't actually made one. So yeah, God bless you all and uh, please share this video and please look at my other videos and please look at my website and please look at my illustration book with video sermons because the hour is late. I mean, it's up to the individual if they want to learn to go ahead and learn. Um, I try and teach this. I've been doing it for eight years now, and I can only do what I can do. Um, it's up to the person to actually learn wisdom, learn prophecy, and the Holy Spirit will come and guide you if you have made that commitment. So God bless you all anyway. I've been Pastor Prophet Justin Roberts from End of the Age Bible Prophecy. God bless you all. Amen.